Hello, trail travelers. It is Carrie and Katarina, and we are continuing our Moab adventure here in March. It's pretty cold, and we are getting ready to hit Poison Spider Mesa. This is a fun trail. We're going to talk a little bit more about how other people can run this sometimes in uh, a route called the Trifecta, but we'll get to that later. Today, we're going to get started. Go have some fun on Poison Spider. A poison Spider is a very popular trail with jeepers, side-by-sides, and ATVs. So this can be a pretty busy trail, uh, depending on time of year and everything. Uh, we're doing this at the beginning of March, and it's kind of cold, so that's kind of keeping the number of people down, but there were still quite a few people on the trailhead, and uh, we expect to see them on the trail as we get going and um, they decide to, at what point they're gonna turn around. Okay, passenger side is, is up and climbing. So, uh, yep, you're gonna have plenty of clearance. Okay, and you're up. Keep momentum and you're good. Well, that was fun going up that obstacle. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it up the first way I wanted to go, but, you know, pick a different line and I had more clearance and I was able to make it. Now we're heading up the switchbacks to the next big section. Ah, it's been a few years. I forgot how much I like Poison Spider. And like a lot of places in Moab, the views are pretty awesome. There's a bunch of times where you have good views of the Colorado River or open areas, and it's just really a beautiful area, I guess, if you like desert stuff. If mountains are more you're seeing, I get it, but we absolutely love Moab. Try and ride the sidewall indent down. No, no, come back, come back. There you go, there you go. And just bring it, bring it straight on. Um, you're going to flag, so start to turn driver, and you're going to drop, and then... Now, if you want to take a bypass on this one, you make kind of a left before you get to the obstacle, and it swings you back around to the main trail right at the end of it. So, this is one that you can easily bypass. A little more. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna go a little bit to the passenger just so that your back end doesn't drop. Yeah, this is a pretty significant uh, obstacle here. Come, come driver a little bit. There you go. Okay. You're up. And the back. And you're up. Nice and easy. Gotta love it when things go right. Beautiful. Uh, there's definitely some spots in this section. Just big waves of rocks, nothing crazy. I will follow you on the side. There's going to be some sections through here where you're going to get a little tippy. You know, I was just at 19 degree roll there. If you're not used to that, that's definitely a big pucker factor. Now you can pick some better lines and not get as tippy, but uh, be prepared for that, you know. Um, the side-to-side -side roll is definitely scarier than the front-to-back pitch. Yeah, over here. You're gonna need it. Then get just do it now. Go. Got a little tire lift. Well, after that last obstacle, we've got some sand that we're driving through. Kind of nice. We have seen quite a number of side by sides today. We are at another obstacle. This one is called the waterfall. This is a nice big climb. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Can't wait to give it a shot. Got a 17 degree roll there. And uh, just climbed right up. I'm just in four low, no lockers on here. And we're climbing right up this stuff. I've mentioned in other videos, this slick rock is really, really like um, climbing up sandpaper. It's very, uh, it's got tons of traction, just absolutely tons of traction. One of the things that makes Poison Spider kind of a long trail to run is there's just obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. So it is some slow going. Now, of course, we're running on 38 inch tires. We go over stuff a little easier. If you're on maybe 33s, really gonna have to be careful about your lines. But all of a sudden, here's yet another obstacle.
you're good. Here at the famous V notch and while this looks really intimidating it's really hard to mess this up because the angles just aren't that steep but it sure looks good on video Going down, passenger a little bit more, straight, driver, driver, driver. locker there right at the top. That top ledge is really steep. I had to lock up to get over it. Got it. L little baby bump, baby. Baby bump, baby bump, baby bump, bump. I want my baby bump, baby bump. <laughs> There it is. Yeah, just a just a tiny little. Damn it, yeah, damn it. The views today are amazing. We can see all the way to snow on the Lasalle Mountains. Now this mesa section is some slow going. There's some ledges and climbs you got to go over, but it's well worth the view. Now we let some people catch up to us, and they're. Rick and Sandy from Washington, and they stayed with us for the rest of the trail. So good to have some extra company on the trip today. Now the story of how Poison Spider gets its name is that a young child named Mary Jane was bitten by a poisonous spider and lost her life. And actually, uh, ways behind us, there's actually a fake grave in her memory. 
pseudo memory or fake memory, whatever. You can believe the story if you want to. At the 4.8 mile mark, you get to this steep drop. Now there's actually three different ways to go down this. So you can pick whichever one seems the easiest for you. But if you wanna play around, go up and down and have some fun here. But it's already after two o'clock, we gotta make some progress and keep on the trail. Now at the five mile mark is where you'll find a map and a sign on the left hand side. The sign is gonna say PS to the right and GS to the left. Well that means poison spider, you stay on the trail and if you wanna do golden spike, you go to the left. A golden spike is going to be the second leg of the trifecta. The third leg is gold bar rim. Now combined, those are gonna make up another 10 miles of driving, which is gonna be fairly difficult. That tra those trails are both rated six mandatory and eight optional. At the end of that, you still need to go through half of Gemini Bridges, which is another five miles, and then to get back to Moab is about another 20 minutes. So that's why the trifecta is pretty much an all day affair. Now we're gonna come back and do the trifecta some other time, but today, it's all about Poison Spider. Now slow down, get your front tires on that. Now go, just go, 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 easy peasy. It's as soon as you start climbing that second ledge, you just stay in it. You'll go right up. Okay, now ease up to it. Ease up to it. Now go. Check out this view from up here. This is amazing. I've never made it this far on Poison Spider before. Uh, I am so glad we're doing this today. It is absolutely awesome. Now there's a giant pothole to our left. We're gonna go check out right now. Oh, why not? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get Phil to do this. <laughs> it looks like a little bit Extra large Mickey's Mickey. hot tub. Yeah, yeah. I'll bet Phil will do it. Phil will do anything. <laughs> you tell him that it is on a waypoints, yeah. optional waypoints. <laughs> See how he will react. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to cut hard pat our hard driver right there to get down into this. As I mentioned before, the views from here are absolutely spectacular. Now, one of the things we're going to do in this video is we're going to take the two side trails to two different overlooks. We don't want to miss a thing on this Poison Spider adventure. Take this to the scenic overlook. It looks like it's over the Colorado River. Yep. Now you'll reach the Barnes Overlook side trail at mile marker 6.3. It's 
it's actually pretty easy to miss, so keep your eyes open. here say hi awesome this is a little offshoot of the trail this is an overlook <laughs> yeah it's pretty amazing i think it's worth the extra few minutes that you spend getting over here um yeah we're glad we did it Don't stop. <laughs> yeah, pull up on the right side of me. Just don't stop, don't hesitate, just stay in it. Like 30 feet back, so you'll be in good shape. Yep, just stay in it, just stay in it. Come right on up, keep going, keep going. You're good, you're good. Go, go, go! Yeah! Right on! Hooray! Stop! Good job! <laughs> and it was jeep way for a little bit. It was? Yeah. yeah! Now we're working our way around the poison spider loop, and there's still cool obstacles to go really over. I'm not sure what we're doing. Now it's here. getting close to right? 3 o'clock. We're not halfway through the loop yet. That was 32 degrees. There is no way. We're making it out of here before dark. Oh, came down a little hard in the back. Now coming up at the 7.2 mile mark, which on Trails Off Road is Waypoint 28, there's another offshoot to go to another overlook. Now this overlook, it's not mentioned other than it's there on Trails Off Road. But if you're following the Fun Trucks book, this is actually part of the trail. Here's the view from the next overlook. Out over there, down here, is Potash Road that you come in on. And that's the main highway into Moab. And Arches National Park is over there. So this is uh, it's quite the view. There's downtown Moab over there. This is the entrance to the park. So, yeah. The Way over there, you can see the entrance to Arches National Park over there. Yep, quite the view. 
get over the edge. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're at the top of the loop now, getting ready to come down the west side. Now if you see, there's just a lot of sand here. Made it very difficult to find the trail and stay on it. So that's one of the reasons why we always use trails off-road. It shows us exactly where we are on the map, lets us know if we're going off trail and make sure that we're going where we're supposed to go. I highly recommend getting their all season pass so you get access to all the different trails and there's a link in the description of the video to check that out. Well, we're making much better time on the back half of the loop and about halfway through you get to this area here called Sand Hill. That's a pretty good sized playground if you want to just screw around, have some fun, and play in the dirt. This was Poison Spider Mesa. What an awesome trail. Now, what you do is you continue this way, go around the loop and we come out where Phil is up there on the ledge. That's where we just came in from. And this is back on the main trail and we have to go out this way, back the way we came. So, lot of fun. Now, we'll show you a few highlights of the major obstacles on the way out, but this, was an amazing day on Poison Spider. But it's getting dark, we need to hurry up. Let's get out of here and hit those last obstacles on our way out.
that was Poison Spider. It is now 6.45 at night. It's pretty much pitch black out here. We had a great time. Thank you so much for joining us on our adventure today. If you want to help support the channel, because a lot of people have asked, we have memberships available, get you different perks and discounts and things. If you like, great. If you don't care to, no problem. Just uh, it does help us out when you can. Thanks for watching, everybody, from Katarina and myself. Stay safe out there. We'll see you on the trails.